Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. Today I'm taking a little break from my usual rotation to address an issue in the community, and that is Sly Sparkane and Red's Rhetoric. They're running into a little bit of a problem right now with copyright strikes, and I want to talk about that for a few minutes. You know, I'm a YouTube creator. I create content that fights the flat earth. As a result, I've got a lot of flurfs that get upset with me. Okay, so be it. Sometimes they even put out videos using my image. This is what's called fair use. I'm a quasi-public figure, and they're using my video. Nobody would ever confuse those images with my channel. They're using it as part of telling their story. This is normal. Now, my response to this as a responsible YouTube creator and an adult is that I produce a video and make them my bitch. We don't use copyright strikes simply because they use my image to tell their story. We don't use copyright strikes to try and take down the channels or the videos that are critical of us. We make response videos and let people watch both and make up their own mind. But the thing that really grates on me is if you put in a false copyright claim, one that you know is false, simply because you don't like the content of a video, and you know that the YouTube bureaucracy will allow this complaint to take the video down and then slip through the cracks for weeks or months or years or forever. And the person whose video you object to has no recourse. That's not the way you play the game, my friend. So I'm going to let Sly Sparkane have a few words here.
You know, I've never been one to shy away from a fight. I started Bob the Science Guy last November to counter what I saw as an assault on STEM education by pseudoscience cults. My goal was to put out good information, not to try and pull people out of the cult, but to give the people that they were attempting to recruit to their fold some information to counter their arguments with. When you are a public figure and you are making content on YouTube and supporting a cause, you have to expect that sometimes people may disagree with you. They may make videos pointing out your errors. They may make silly memes and put your face on them. This is essentially the cost of doing business when you take a stand for something. You counter it by putting out response videos or just continuing on as you were. You don't try and suppress it by filing a bogus complaint to try and have that video taken down or that meme removed. First of all, this is the internet. When things are on the internet, they're written in ink. It doesn't matter if you take the original video down. There's a copy out there somewhere. It's still going to be there. All you do by filing these copyright strikes, especially if it turns out they're not correct, is you make yourself look foolish. It's an attempt to suppress your critics. People don't like that. So, as far as my viewers on Team Bob the Science Guy, you can help me out a little bit. Take this video and tweet it to YouTube. Make sure that they are aware of it, just as many other content creators far and wide are putting out similar videos this week. All these things can be tweeted to YouTube. Make sure that they know that their copyright strike system is broken and they need to address it or else these abuses are going to become rampant. Every time you have your little cause, if somebody says something against it, all you have to do is file a copyright strike, and it goes away. If you do that under false pretenses or maliciously, simply to suppress your critics, there needs to be consequences for that. So this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. Do me a favor, stop by Sly Sparkane's channel, there's a link to it in the description. And give him a sub just to let him know that you support him. This is Bob the Science Guy, and I approve this message.